And this just shows you, this is just one example, that the conversion, quote-unquote, of men in powerful places is often not genuine. There's a lot of people in powerful places that know that if they have a conversion, that there are a bunch of stupid, unsuspecting, undiscerning people that are going to believe it. How many people, and I used to be one of them, how many people thought that George W. Bush was a good and godly Christian man? I used to think that. Back in his first term, you know, for a few years there, probably up until, I don't know, the Iraq wars and a little after that, then I started to have my eyes open about things. But yeah, I used to think he was a great Christian man. What a fool I was. That man's got more blood on his hands. Like a million people killed in Iraq, massacred because of him and Rumsfeld and Cheney and his handlers. But ultimately... The buck stops with him. He was the president. That man, he he's evil. Or Donald Trump. How many Christians think that Donald Trump is a Christian? And they'll tell you that. They think that Donald Trump is a Christian. Are you kidding me? The guy that says he never has to ask for forgiveness? He said that. The proud, gloating, blasphemous fool blasphemes the name of God, uses his name in vain. They think that man's a Christian. Anybody that thinks that man's a Christian does not have discernment. I'm sorry. You do not have discernment if you think that man's a Christian. You don't even know what a Christian is. Most people have no idea what a Christian is, biblically speaking. You know a Christian is a member of a New Testament church? That's what a Christian actually is, a disciple of Christ. Christians are not just people out there that that profess to believe in God or profess to believe in Jesus even. Christians are members, baptized members of true New Testament churches. But even using a loose definition of a Christian, Donald Trump is not a Christian even using the world's definition of Christian. And anybody that can't see that has no discernment, in my opinion anyway. I'll put it this way. If you listen to the three-part Bible study that I did on Donald Trump and you still come across come away from that thinking Donald Trump's a Christian, you have no discernment. Now, maybe you didn't know any of that stuff. Okay, you listen to that. You have no discernment if you think that man's a Christian. 